Good morning, everyone. You're ready to do your Google slideshow on your person or your animal. So you're going to go into Google Classroom and you're going to click on the research project. It will open up Google Slides for you and you'll have your name up here. And the first thing you're going to do is make it your own. So I would recommend that you go over to theme and click on that. And you'll see all these great options over here. Like if you're doing the cheetah, for example, this orange one might be a fun one to do. Okay, so you're going to add your title. That should be maybe something like all about cheetahs. Okay, and then you'll put your name down below or somewhere else on the slide so that we know who we're hearing from. Now this is a title, so we want to make sure that every word is capitalized. Okay. Now you might want to start adding pictures already, which is totally fine. I'm going to close the themes over here by clicking on the X. And I'm going to go over to Insert. And I'm going to choose an image. And I'm going to search for a cheetah image, maybe a cheetah cub. Now, what's nice about this is all of these search results are free to be used. In other words, you're not breaking any copyright rules. Well, I think I need to use that one. So I clicked on it. You can see it's got the little blue check mark. And now I'm going to go down below and I'm going to hit select. And it's going to drop it right into my slide. Now it's big, so I'm going to have to resize it. So down here in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to wait till my cursor changes into like just a downward facing arrow. And I click and hold, and I'm going to resize my picture. And then I can click and drag my picture to where I want it. Okay? So our title page is done. Now we need to start adding the information we have from our research project. So I'm going to add a new slide over here by clicking on this plus. And you'll see that it automatically gives me a format that's similar to the cover page, but not exactly the same. Now if I wanted something a little bit different, I can click on the drop down right next to the plus sign, and it's going to give me all these different slide templates for me. Like I like this one because I like the orange. So I'm going to click on that. And now I've got that as my third slide. If I want to get rid of this one, I can go to edit, delete. And that slide is gone. You have to be on the slide you want to delete over on the left hand side. So maybe here I'm going to do my fabulous facts. And over here, I can start to type my facts. Number one, cheetahs are, and you would keep typing, okay? Now, if you want to change the font in any way, maybe you want these are fabulous to be bigger. I can either highlight all of the text or I can just select the box, okay? So if I select the box, you don't really see the cursor. You're just going to click somewhere on the outside of that text box. And when I do that, now anything in there, when I change my font, that will also change. So here's your like toolbar. I can make things bold, italic, which is slanting, underlined. Here's the color. Maybe I want this to be orange. And then here's my font size. Right now it's a 21. I'm going to make it a 36. Okay. Again, if I want to add a picture up above, I can go to Insert, Image. This is what I searched for last time. I want a different search, so I'm going to click on Search again, and it's going to clear what I had. And I'm going to put Cheetah Home. I like this one because you can see the grasslands behind it. So I'm going to click on that one and I'm going to select it. 
And again, it will insert right in. Again, it's super big. So I'm gonna to go to a corner. I usually go to the bottom right, but you can go to any corner. Your cursor will change from the cross to a downward arrow. And I'm gonna click and hold and drag it up to make it smaller. Okay, now I can click and drag to where I want it. Okay. Some other cool things you might want to do is you can change the background. So let's say I insert a slide that doesn't have any orange on it. I can go to background and I can change the color here. Maybe I want a real light orange on this one. Okay. This is going to be predators. Okay. So I'm going to put my text right here. Again, I can put in a picture. And notice when I'm doing this, I'm putting in exactly what I want. I'm just, just going to type in cheetah. I'm going to put in predator. And if maybe their predator is an elephant, I could type that specifically. Okay. Because right now all I'm seeing are pictures of cheetahs themselves. Let's put the word hunter in there too. I wonder if there'll be any pictures of people. Ooh, a wolf. All right, so I'm gonna select that. Again, it'll insert it, it's too big. I'm gonna drag it to resize it and put it over here, okay? If you wanna watch your slideshow, you can go back to your first slide and go up here to present and it's actually going to change your screen and start to present. Now in order to move through the slides you're going to have to hit your um, arrow key, your right arrow key, and it'll move through to the next slides. To get back out of that you're going to hit escape. Again Google saves it for you just like our Word Docs or our Google Docs. So you don't have to worry about saving it when you're done if you haven't yet finished it. Don't turn it in today. There's no way you'll finish this today. I want as many slides as you can get out of your research, and I want some good images. If you want to wait and let me scan some of your pictures, I'm happy to do that, but obviously you can't do that today. All right, good luck. Have fun with your research.